Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'm answering some of your questions. Specifically, we'll go through how to run a workflow using the desktop app and how to schedule a workflow using the desktop app. Let's dive in. First, running a workflow using the desktop app. Let's assume the following situation. You're setting up a workflow that includes multiple nodes, some requiring an account and some not. How do you set up the different nodes and what desktop is the workflow going to use? Let's give it a try. First, let's head over to the workflow builder, select a sample workflow name. And now we can set up the first node. We will add an automation that requires a LinkedIn account. For example, scrape profile. This will be our first node. Next, let's add a non-social account node. For example, uh, find company URL. Now this automation does not use a social account. And then we can add one more node. Let's say we can add email, we can select find email. These last two automations do not use a social account. Now let's go ahead and set up our first node. I will select this account to scrape. Set up the second node. It will be picked up from the output of the previous node. And then find email. Here we would need to use the details from our previous nodes. Okay, now even our third node is set up. Once we have set up the automation, we can go ahead and select the desktop. Now, when it comes to the social account nodes, such as our script profile node, this first node will run on the desktop assigned to the LinkedIn account under accounts. Let's go ahead and have a look at which one that is. As you can see, my LinkedIn account is associated with desktop A1. So that is where that node will be running on. Let's reopen my workflow to have a look at the second and the third node. Those are my non-social account nodes. All steps in your workflow that do not require a social account will run on a desktop, which you need to select from the desktop button on the bottom of the screen over here. Here's how to do it. First, we click on the desktop icon on the bottom of the screen over here. Here, you will see all the desktops available in your Texo workspace. Select use this for the relevant desktop and it will be saved. So in my case, only one of the desktops is available or is connected. So I will use this one. If you want to confirm your selection, hover over the desktop icon and it will display the desktop name the workflow is using. Here it is, A1. And you will see that it is also illuminated in green. So that is all done. We have set up the workflow and we can go ahead and run it. Scheduling a workflow using the desktop app. Next, I will explain how you can schedule a workflow using the desktop app. You can do so in the typical manner that you typically would. So let's go ahead and click on the clock icon. We assume that our workflow is already set up. We have set up all of our nodes and we just need to schedule the workflow. Go ahead and select the schedule that you would like to apply for this workflow. For example, every day at 3 p.m. Start and end date is optional. Hit save. Once you are done, hit the run button to activate your workflow. And that's it. 
Running and scheduling workflows using the desktop app in Texo is simple and straightforward. Use these steps to manage your workflows seamlessly. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.